Hello everyone. Today I'm going to tie a freestyle spay with a Mary D wing. The hook is a Partridge Bartley traditional blind eye salmon hook size 3 aught. The thread I'm using to secure the silkworm gut is a Semperfly Nano Silk 24 aught white. Start the thread at the tip of the blind eye hook and trim the tag. Wrap a base along the tapered section and bring it back to the tip. Take a piece of silkworm gut and make a loop around the bodkin. Make sure the ends are even. Place it underneath the hook and wrap edge to edge along the base and build up the thread and add thin head cement. Trim the ends with a razor on a taper and build up the thread around the trimmed ends. Whip finish and trim. Next, start the uninylon 70 denier thread over the existing wrap. Wrap it to the end of the gut and trim the tag. Egg is the Lagerton Oval Extra Strong Gold Tinsel. Take a piece of the oval tinsel and remove a section of the tinsel down to the core. Secure the tinsel by the core at the end of the silkworm gut and set it so the tinsel portion is even with the barb. Wrap with smooth wraps to that point. Wrap a base for the tinsel and spiral the thread out of the way. Wrap the tinsel edge to edge for five turns. Strip the tinsel to the core again. Unwind the thread and secure by the core with smooth wraps. Slightly past the point and trim the excess. Wrap the thread to the end of the gut eye and trim any excess tinsel. Next, secure the Unimiler number 16 gold flat tinsel from underneath the hook with a few wraps and add the burgundy red silk floss beside it. Hold both pieces firmly and secure it with smooth wraps to the base of the tag. Wrap a smooth base between the tinsel and the point and spiral the thread out of the way and burnish the area. Wrap the silk floss over the base, slightly overlapped even with the point, and secure from underneath the hook along the threaded area to the end of the silkworm gut.
then fold it back and secure with smooth wraps and trim before the silk tag. This will add to the taper of the body. Build up the thread along the threaded area to a smooth taper, finishing at the base of the tag and spiral the thread out of the way. Burnish the silk tag and wrap the gold flat tinsel as a rib. Five turns, evenly spaced and at the same angle. Secure from underneath the hook with a few wraps and trim. Wrap the thread forward, whip finish and trim. Next. Switch to a unithread 17 knot trichle. Start the thread and trim the tag. Wrap the thread with smooth wraps to the end of the tag. Prepare a dyed black golden pheasant crest. Measure, trim, and flatten the stem. Secure on top of the hook at the center with edge to edge wraps. This will be the base for the ostrich churl butt. Next, I'm adding the veil over the tail. Married strands of black, yellow, and red goose shoulder, left and right. Tie it in tent style on each side of the base of the tail. Then add the small jungle cock tips on each side of the veil. Secure and trim the excess and build up the thread. Next, take a strand of ostrich hurl, strip away the fibers from the butt, a small section to the stem. Secure the hurl by the stem at the base of the tail and veil. Build up the base for the butt and spiral the thread out of the way. Wrap the hurl edge to edge along the base five turns, unwind the thread and secure the rest of the hurl along the threaded area and trim the rest. Whip finish and trim. Switch over to a Union Nylon 70 denier to secure the three part rib. Next, prepare the oval gold tinsel, same as the tag, and secure by the core from underneath the hook. Starting at the end of the silkworm gut with a few wraps. Have the tinsel portion even with the hurl. Add a strand of the silk floss beside the oval with a few wraps and add the flat gold braid beside the silk floss. Grasp all three strands firmly and secure with smooth wraps to the ostrich hurl butt, keeping the strands parallel to each other without crossing.
build up the thread and have the thread end up behind the gut eye. Next, secure the black silk floss from underneath the hook with smooth wraps to the butt. Build up the thread and burnish the threaded area. Next, wrap the gold braid tinsel as a rib and mark where the second rib falls. Unwind the tinsel and move it aside with the other two. This will mark where the body hackle starts. Prepare a large blue schlappen hackle, fold and trim the tying point. The tiny point is the length between the mark and the end of the silk cord gut. You want to build up that area for a neat taper. Secure and build up the thread and burnish the threaded area. Wrap the black silk floss along the threaded area behind and in front of the body hackle, slightly overlapped with flat smooth wraps towards the eye. Secure, trim the excess, and burnish the silk body. Next, start the gold oval tinsel as a rib. The second rib falls behind the body hackle and wrap towards the eye, evenly spaced and angled. Secure and trim the excess, followed by the red silk floss and the gold braid tinsel. Secure and trim the excess. Wrap the folded body hackle tight to the oval tinsel, pulling the fibers back with your fingers. The remaining hackle at the end of the body, wrap as a collar with tight wraps and secure by the stem. Trim the excess, whip finish and trim.
Next, switch over to the Semperfly Nano Silk 24 out white for the remainder of the fly. Start the thread and trim the tag. Prepare a large dyed fluorescent green teal hackle. Flatten the stem, fold the hackle, and trim the tip for the tying point. Secure the teal hackle by the tip from underneath the hook. Wrap tight to the blue collar with edge to edge wraps and secure by the stem. Trim the excess, whip finish, and build up the thread. Separate the fibers top and bottom and eliminate the top fibers flush to the stem so it's clear. Next, I'm preparing the married wings. The one side is complete. Start with Cory Bustard, then black, red, yellow turkey, and Argus. Have the tips on a taper. Each segment has four strands. Secure the married wing one at a time along the side of the hook left and right with a soft loop and cinch wraps. Add the jungle cock feathers on top of each wing so they're even and secure with a few wraps. Then add the same feathers underneath each wing. Measure. The feathers are twice the length of the ones on top of the wing and secure. Finally, add the single blue Tangara feather in the center, on top between the wings by the stem. Trim the excess on a taper with a razor for a neat head. Build up the thread, whip finish, and trim. Next, add the black thread, cover the white head, whip finish, trim, and add thin head cement. Finally, once the head is completely dry, add the 5 minute epoxy evenly around the head.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and hit the like button to see more of these freestyle Linux salmon patterns. Thank you.